I'm Kevin Kilban. Um, I played alongside David Moyes uh, from 1993 to 1997 while uh, we were both playing together at Preston. And then I was uh, managed by him um, while at Everton from 2003, I think, to 2007, I think it was. I mean, he'd done his coaching badges very early, even before he'd come to Preston. He'd come in initially as, as a club captain. Um, I was only a YT at the time, so I wasn't actually in the first team at that particular time. I was in the youth team. But he came into the club and um, we all knew that he had his coaching badges and he wanted to progress into coaching and management. I think that was very evident. And he always would would be speaking to me, certainly as a young 16, 17-year-old boy. He would be in talking, chatting, giving advice, um, very, very open and very forthcoming to us all. And um, I think then once the, the manager had been sacked around, I think it was 95, manager was sacked, he then got the assistant manager's job and he, he was then player assistant manager under Gary Peters. He was one of the lads in the dressing room, fun character, had the, the practical joker side to him, he had that in, in him as well, but he was also very, very serious about, about the game, very astute, very knowledgeable, even while he was playing, um, would always be watching any game possible on TV and coming in talking about the next day, always wanting to talk about the game with any coaches, managers that he spoke to and any players that, that, he, that he spoke to, even me at a young age, he'd be asking me what I thought of various things and just basically like a, a sponge and that's what he used to do off people. I'd left Sunderland to, to go to Everton, very fortunate that he did came, come in and sign me, really, really pleased he did, but I, I started to then see a different side of him because he was always assistant manager, he was never the boss while I, while I played at, at Preston and you rec I recognised straight away that um, he had probably took it on to a new level really regarding you know the intensity side of him because he ultimately the book stopped with him and you'd hear the stories about him being around the football club at nine ten o'clock at night um, not wanting to leave because he was basically watching videos of opposition watching videos of players maybe he was going to sign um, I think the old adage is saying he wouldn't leave no stone unturned would, would definitely be the case with him he, he was he was excellent in his preparation for games but also tactically very very good as well it was a huge step to go from Preston in the Championship Club. He, he got them promoted from League One, as it is now, got them promoted to the Championship, got them on the verge of the Premier League in the, the playoffs against Bolton that they, that they narrowly got beat on. And um, it was a huge step to leave that calibre of players to go to Everton in Premier League players. He had you know, the likes of Duncan Ferguson, Kevin Campbell, Wayne Rooney, all these big personalities uh, that he had to deal with then and I think he would have learned from that I think because that was a huge step up for him then in that terms again it's another step up of course we recognise that that he's going to a different calibre of player again but I'm sure he would have learned from his experience in his early days at Preston on how to deal with that step up and you know he's a big personality in his own right now he's a, he's a wonderful manager and coach but it's again it's how the players react to him because they've, he's not signed them players he's going into a new environment and that's got to be the key for him I think. There's all sorts of levels that, and then they're about him not winning trophies, and he's got no experience in European football, no real experience in European football. Uh, I can't see them, for me, being a problem. I think that certainly the European one, he would have studied so many games over the years, he would have watched so many games. He has been in Europe with Everton, so that wouldn't be a problem. It, the calibre of player that he's dealing with as well, it's about getting them motivated, getting them mentally and tactically prepared for games, and he'll do that. He'll definitely do that. That'll be a given for him anyway. He'll love that. That's his, that's his forte. Um, I think the, the saying that the type of person that he is stepping into that role at Man United as well, for me, it's like a perfect fit really because Sir Alex Ferguson will be in the background one way or another. He's going to be at that football club and the sh there is going to be a certain shadow around it. But I think David Moyes will embrace that and, and go and seek his advice when necessary. I think he'll, he'll, he'll do wonderfully well. Of course, the calibre of plays that, he, that he's got there will, um, will, will aid that. He's a certain type of character. It takes a certain type of character to, to go into a club like Man United and, and excel. And he has that for me. He has that factor about him, that, that real desire, that real will to win. That in the likes of Sir Alex Ferguson, he, he's in that sort of mould. And I, I currently, you know, I hope he does well. And I, I really genuinely wish him, wish him well. But I think he's got that real desire and that ability to progress there, yeah.